Hey gamers, Stogie here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video that a lot of people have asked me about in uh, the recent weeks with Titanfall being released. So I wanted to um, make a video on it. So you guys know I have the Rocat Cone XTD. I made a video about it back when Battlefield 4 came out, but I want to show you guys some uh, ways to customize your key bindings, and then I'm also going to show you what my key bindings are like in Titanfall. So if you hit the Shift Menu button, the Menu button is right above your um, scroll wheel on the Rocat Cone XTD. So you hit Shift in that button, you get this Rocat Cone XTD mouse settings uh, system control panel. So within the system control panel, if you go to the button assignment tab, so see the second tab over, uh, you're going to see the layout of all the possible buttons you can use on this mouse. So uh, here's the standard button clicks and here's the easy shift clicks. So this is the shift button, this number 17. So if you hold down that button and hit any of these other buttons, it makes the secondary function. So you guys can see something right here that there's some customized settings here, like gadget one, gadget two. I customize my settings in there. And, and how you want to do that is you want to go to the macro manager. And when you're in the macro manager, you can select whatever you want. I actually created my own down here in Battlefield 4. So I actually created these back in Battlefield 4, but I used them for Titanfall as well. I gave them names, so Gadget 1, Gadget 2, Adjust My Scope, Crouch, and Knife. And then you give them key values. So you see here, this is the, the minus sign, this is zero, this is backslash, this is equals, and this is right control. So basically you're using buttons that aren't being used commonly in game keyboard layouts. And then you bind that keyboard button to a function on the mouse, and then you can use that macro within there. So like if I wanted to do a new one, you just hit new here, you type in the name, new layout, enter, and then over here you want to switch to advanced editor at the bottom, and then you can hit your key value in here by hitting add, say I want to do semicolon, and then you just give your key value a small length. So this is like the time that it reads it pressing in your computer system and then you would hit OK. So I don't want to save that, but basically you would hit OK and then apply down here at the bottom and you would be done. I'm going to take you into Titanfall and show you how I use these extra um, key bindings on my mouse to make my mouse control just about everything in the game. So I'll see you guys on Titanfall here. Okay, so if you go into Titanfall and you go to the options menu and you go up to mouse, keyboard settings, and key bindings, you will see here there is options to edit and clear keys. So what I'm going to do here is show you guys some examples of how I bound my keys. So my theory is to have the ASDW be my movement key, spacebar be jump, and have that my hand stay on those five keys almost at all times. Now I use shift to sprint in this game and F to drop my titan, but that's about it. Almost every other key is bound to my mouse. So mouse 1 and mouse 2 are left trigger and right trigger for firing. And you can see my mouse hand is moving with the screen. Um, let me show you exactly what I did. So let's say melee here. So let's clear that key. Melee is bound or was bound to holding my shift key and scrolling my wheel. So I made that the control in right control in that Rocat cone system. So let's go ahead and edit this key. And then I'm going to hold shift and flick con flick the uh, mouse wheel and you saw how it set up right control. So in Battlefield 4 you actually had to hit the right control button in this key and then get it to work in the game. In Titanfall it's actually a more intelligent system. You can just go ahead and hit that mouse combination and it recognizes the key. So if you scroll down a little bit further you'll see that I found my primary weapon return to uh, moving my mouse wheel to the left and I've moved my equip anti-titan weapon moving my mouse wheel to the right. Um, I have my throwing grenade is uh, mouse 4 which is actually hold shift and hit, hit left click so again let's show another option so right now that's clear I'm gonna edit key hold shift hit left click and then you see mouse 4 pops up there so what I highly recommend doing is going through and r removing as many um, keyboard functions as you can and putting them on your mouse because as you can see here you have a lot of buttons to play with on this Rocat Cone XTD so um, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below I tried to make this as thorough and clear as possible so hopefully this helped you I know I got a lot of questions about it so I just want to make a quick video to help as many of you as I can 
Um, I hope you guys are loving Titanfall. I'm having a blast playing it. So I'll see you guys out there. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.